So we had to have the manager come by so we could just let him know what was going on. And listen, like I was telling everybody on the live, okay? And we got mama to say hello. So mom has her fits and we're doing gonzo style. We got our chips, we got our salsa. And again, I'm having the fajitas Hawaiian. Okay, right there. And then mom is having Melanesa, which is so, so cool. Okay? So, with all this stuff going on, and then we got our little fan going on, and mom's there doing her thing. We come back to me. Alright, so we ordered a margarita pitcher with strawberry and mango. We had to mix it up, and I'm just so happy to be doing creations. And I thank you all so much for locking in with me throughout YouTube. We're going to be having a lot of cigars, we're going to be having a lot more fiestas going on because it's the anniversary. So you can check out live moments right here on Cigar Say Star and Cigar Say Sister Live. Lots of cigars, lots of food, and lots of story time. But again, I do this from the bottom of my heart, and I thank you all so much for being locked into the Kala Squad. And I wish my girls were here. I was like, I kept getting all types of Happy Cinco de Mayo from all of my Latinas, my girls, and my girls who are not Latina, okay? But my girl Camille, Camelia, we celebrated in Atlanta several times for Cinco de Mayo, and she's Panamanian, and her mom, Abuela, okay, she called and she was just like happy Cinco de Mayo and then mom shares this moment with me too. Mom is a beautiful, pale lady of color so like this anybody who can celebrate. So we do it with love, we do it with respect. So yeah, lots of cigars, lots of food, waiting on our picture of margaritas and then I mix it up and then they asked us do we want salt or sugar and then mom, okay I'm taking these pictures, what did you say? <laughs> Mom said she wanted sugar. Okay, so mom's eating her dip and chip right there. And then I wanted sugar too. I know that the classic way for a lot of people is salt, but hey, I'm sweet like sugar. Most times, so I love having sugar around my rim. And because I cook savory and you know with a lot of us, Cubana, we cook with a lot of pork, a lot of saison, and ugh, you know, we have enough of the sodium. So when it comes to me, and it comes to me getting my margaritas, I always get sugar or I get nothing. And I, I don't know if they ask me if I want frozen or if you want iced, but I like the ice over the frozen. And you know, it just depends on my mood, and that's okay. All right, so anyway, just wanted to touch bases with you all. We're going to be having a lot of live and not live moments, cigars, and also pinches of snuff we're going to have as well. And then I'll probably pull out my pipe uh, to do some beautiful pipe moments, okay? So make sure you stay locked in. We'll be back with the food, okay? All right. Peace and happy Cinco de Mayo. My fajitas are on fire. Fajitas are on fire. We don't need no water. Let the Cinco de Mayo burn. Burn Cinco de Mayo. Burn. Burn Cinco de Mayo. All right. We're going to two up tonight. Mama. Mama. Do you see it smoking? We're going to two up tonight. No, 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 no. Look at the night, y'all. Look at that. Okay, so, I mean, it came out piping hot. You love that, Ma? Love it. <laughs> okay, and our picture. Oh my God, it's almost gone. Mom loves the picture. We've got to get some water. Okay, some aqua. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to show that to you all. Okay. So, I'm going to taste it first. Uh, once it cools down a little bit more, because a good fajita, you don't need anything extra. So, we're going to roll with it. And I'm 
also going to ask for some soft tortillas to go with this as well. Now sometimes it comes with it and sometimes it does not, but we're getting ready to do it. It looks good. To go oh yeah, I told you the sponsor. Oh, okay. Um, so we need anything else? That's it, right? That's it. That's it. Alright, so they're on the go and they're on the move because it's busy, 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 busy. So um they so oh my gosh, look at moms. You are showing out in the land. Okay. So now it's piped down pretty good. Okay, I know my camera action. I'm on a different selfie stick. I don't have like the stand one and everything. And of course, we got the margaritas on deck and the pictures sitting over in the corner. But that looks really, really good. Okay. <laughs> and so we're getting ready. That's the cue for get off the camera. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So cheers to you all. A lot of these short takes will be right back. So good, we had to take it to go. And the margarita pitcher with the mango and strawberry was absolutely delicious. So, I'm about to fire this up. Service was great, so I love it. I thank you so much for locking in with us. Now, the one thing about these vinegar keels, you really have to be careful with the top of it. Because sometimes you have what you call like a loose draw. And a loose draw means it's so open that they may have not had this one really tightly rolled, whether it was machine or not. because I'm pulling, but for some reason I'm not getting. A lot of the smoke until it probably gets out of that first third because there are no holes, no indentations in here, so. So basically it's a very super open draw that at first I wasn't getting a lot of the production of the smoke, but now
as it warms through the tobacco, then I'll start getting more smoke. Because you would tell if there were some holes because you would start seeing smoke in the perimeter of the cigar. Okay, somebody's backing out, which is really good. Jeez. And they're driving a charger and they came all the way to my bumper. Somebody is feeling really, really good at margaritas because it didn't take that much. So while I'm doing all this talking, let me see if I can get out of here. Okay? So thanks so much for locking in. Okay? And happy Cinco de Mayo. More to come. Peace.